Welcome, everybody. Hi, this is Keith Vitale, and welcome to Sidekick Podcast. Um, in this episode, um, it's not that I'm excited to talk about it because I actually heard Jackie Chan over and over, but this is the episode where I hit him and I thought I was going to be fired. Before I go any further, let me introduce my producer, Dex. How are you doing? I'm well. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I This was kind of an embarrassment because it was my big scene with Jackie Chan. And uh, right before the scene, they choreographed what I was going to have to do. The Japanese tours brought in buses, three bus loads of Japanese who were the biggest Jackie Chan Hong Kong, Hong Kong fans in the world. So they brought them, and now we're talking literally three, four hundred people watching the scene. So now there's hundreds of people there. Raymond Chow, the producer from Hong Kong, the big big man, he flew into Barcelona to watch this scene. And so Samuel goes like this. He goes, Keith, he says, what I want you to do is Benny Yukitas, who's my co-star in this film, um, he's the one who's playing the bad guy just like me. We're the two bad guys. We're fighting. In this film, we fight the three main stars, Yong Bao, Samuel Hung, the director and a star, as well as Jackie Chan. So he said, in this scene, what we want to do is we're going to have Benny Yukitas begin the fight scene with Jackie Chan. He says, I want you to come in at the tail end of it, and I want you to slide up. I want you to hit him with a sidekick and then knock him back. See if you can knock him back a good distance. Now, I'm known for my sidekicks. My podcast is named Sidekicks. I was a fighter, and I, you know, I love the sidekicks. You know, so here I am. I'm tickled with joy. Finally, I get to showcase my technique. So I said, great, let's go. So the set's all done, created, and the cameraman's there. So Jackie Chan and uh, Samuel Hung is uh, the director. Everybody's in place. I'm set, and I put my right side forward, and I'm set. And I'm ready. Let's go. This is what I do best. Samuel goes, hey, Fu, what are you doing? And I went, uh, I'm nothing. Why? I'm fine. He goes, change sides. He says, right now we're seeing the back of you, and we don't want to see the back of you. The camera wants to see the front of you. Now, again, I'm sarcastic, and the Chinese are not sarcastic, never have been. And I go, oh, no, 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 no. You don't want me to change sides and use my left leg being sarcastic. And he goes, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll close down the set. We'll refilm. We'll reset everything just because you don't want to use your left leg. And he wasn't happy saying that. And I went, no, 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 no. So I, I stopped very quickly. No, no, I can do it. I can do it. Here's the difference. With my right leg, I have total control. I can slide up and hit you with the, the whole foot, the whole bottom of my foot against your chest because he wants me to kick him in the chest. So here's the chest. My foot hits the whole body just like that. Well, the power is dispersed over the whole chest, over the size of my foot. With my left leg, I can't do that. I can't. I, I throw it out probably with more power. But what happens is on my left foot, I pronated this one. I hit only with the heel. The heel is what you use when you break boards and break bricks and you break people. You know, even when I was a fighter, when I was coming up as a white belt, I had taken out the first year I had broken over 50 people's ribs with my sidekick all by using the heel. So I was scared of using the heel. I wanted to be able to push it back with just the whole flat of my foot. So anyway, I got left side forward. I said, fine, let's shoot. And Samuel goes, action. And everything goes as planned. And Benny does his fight sequence. I slide up. I throw my slide to sidekick, powerful. I hit Jackie right in the chest. I propel him back about 10 feet in the air. He hits the ground and rolls. And he's just writhing in pain, just screaming in pain. So now he's on the ground because it's my fault. I've hit him with my heel and not the, the whole flat of the foot. The stuntmen, his stunt crew, all run to him. And they're circling him. And they're looking at him. Raymond Chow, the producer, flew in just for this. He goes down to take care of his main star. And he, they're all looking at me like, like I'm the bad guy. So I know I'm going to be fired. So the next words I expect to hear are, you're fired. Instead, Samuel Hung is sitting behind the camera with a cinematographer. Samuel Hung looks at me and he goes, Kei-Fu, more power. More power? Jackie's on the ground. I'm looking at him like I'm confused. Jackie raises his head up, looks back at Samuel like that, like he's so upset. Can't believe that his best friend in the world, Samuel, just told me to kick him even harder again. So 
15, 30 minutes go by. He gets his composure back, Jackie. Now, give this right. He's the best athlete I've ever seen. He's phenomenal. That's not on him. It's on me. I'm hurting him. I am not doing my job right. He's he's the most fa fantastic, acrobatic person I have ever met. Just incredible martial artist. So I'm feeling bad. I love Jackie Chan. I don't want to hurt him. So here's what happens. We repeat this scene seven to eight more times. All. Each scene with the same result. I mean, not getting back 10 feet, 10, all eight times I'm lying on the ground screaming in pain because I'm hurting him. The stuntmen looking at me, calling me names, you know, just really upset with me. And here's Samuel each time, each time, never, I'm not exaggerating, looks at me and says, K Fu, more power, more power. And I went, oh my God, this is crazy. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. I'm looking at, looking at Jackie in pain. And I'm looking, I'm looking over here and I'm going, oh, this is crazy. So my last scene is where I screwed up. So I said, this one, I got to make this one right. So Samuel goes, action. We do it again. I slide up and I just really just executed beautifully. Power thrusted sidekick. But this time, instead of hitting him in the chest, I hit him in the larynx. I could feel his larynx crush it underneath the bottom of my foot. So as it did that, I saw him going back. Well, anyway, I'm supposed to stay in character till the director says, cut. I didn't do that. I knew I heard the stars. So I ran over to him. But when I did that, Samuel yelled at me, go, what are you doing? And then Raymond Chow goes, what are you doing? Stop. And Jackie Chan, too, the only time he ever got mad at me, goes, I took this for you. Stop, stop. In other words, Samuel goes, Keith, he says, Keith, well, you don't understand. The one you heard him is the one we're going to use for the film. That's the one we're looking for. That's the outtake. And we want you to stay in, in, in character and don't break until cut. So I'm thinking I'm fired. Instead of being fired, which was incredible, he comes to me and he says, I've created, Samuel says, I've created a whole new scene for you to showcase your, your psychic. But that's for another podcast. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this episode, and I apologize for hurting the great Jackie Chan, because I love the man. Please uh, share this with friends, like it, subscribe, and uh, look at the other podcasts. And uh, until then, ciao.